What's up guys? It's Daz here. But you don't really care as we have now completed most of the entirety of Hyrule except we've got this massive black hole in the middle here and a tiny little scope of missing information in the corner. So next up we're gonna go and take on probably a pretty short region. We're taking on this, oh hello, this westernmost portion of this massive black hole in the center of the map. This is the Ridgeland region we need to go straight to the tower, which I'm going to fly to from the Hebra one that we've already unlocked. So, let's go and make our journey up to another tall peak. Alright, so here we are. We can finally actually see the towers in sight. And you may notice there's a little bit of... Oh, weather going on around in this region and this is actually a permanent issue. Look down in the bottom right corner we can see it's all cloudy and also all lightning-y or I guess thundery. Um, it was there for a minute but it immediately disappeared but oh well. Anyway we should be coming into the Ridgeland Tower now. Alright so this tower it's a little bit of a finicky one. You may be able to work out why. We're actually probably gonna be able to break this with the Thunder Helm but I figured I'd show it off anyway. The whole place is in water. And you also have a whole bunch of electrical whiz robes as well. And these guys, there's Alphos with electric arrows too, or shock arrows even better, better word. Here, let me get the thunder spear, uh, spear be fitting. Your big issue here is you need to get across this water without getting zapped. The moment you get zapped, you lose all your stuff and you die pretty quickly as well. With the thunder helm, we probably are going to be quite alright, and in general you just want to do a whole bunch of dodging. And also, Cryonis might be your best friend right now, so I think I'm just going to glide through this pretty, pretty easily, pretty easily. This video should be pretty short as well because I want to really take on the story elements of this episode, and by that I mean do the side quest in this region. You'll never guess how many there are. One. There's one side quest here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that should have really zapped me and given me trouble, but I can just get along this easily. Sorry if I'm breaking the game, but hey, you get to watch a hundred other people play the game blind, go to everything else last, do this first, fail immeasurably, and then you come to see me doing everything 100%, meaning I have pr pretty good weapons. Well, a single piece of helmet that protects me from everything, so I'm just going to use it. Why not? I put a lot of effort to actually get this thing. It took like four side quests just to activate the opportunity to get the thing. Oh well. Anyway, oh, very dramatic thunder lightning. Let's just go and get to the top of this tower and then I will take us to the one and only side quest in this region. And then everything else will be split into other videos because we still have a lot of collectibles to get here, but it's generally a pretty small and easy area. So, let's get started. seeing raindrops on the floor. Aren't we underneath a roof? Hmm. Anyway, there it is. Now actually looking at the map you can see it's a pretty small region anyway, um, not quite as small as maybe Tabantha, but still, pretty small region and on top of that, as well as having the single side quest which is around this area here, looking at actual shrines and not side quests, I think there's only three or four here, so it is going to be a really quick sort of collecting through this area. But anyway, despite all that, let's go and dive right in to the side quest which makes us go to the other end of the bridge in the Tabantha region, if that helps as a sort of working out region of where you are. Let's go. So I decided to go along from the Tabantha Bridge region, not only because I was more familiar with it, but also to dodge a kind of prevalent story shrine side quest thing that pops up in the region that I didn't really want to activate right now, so instead we're going from the western region. This is the Tabantha Bridge Stable. Oddly enough, it's not actually in Tabantha. First of all, let's go and have a look and see if there's anyone interesting to talk to. Oh, I guess 
Uh, yeah, you, you're the side quest person, so sure. Ah, great fairy. Oh, pardon me, I was lost in thought. You've heard of the great fairy, right? The one from those old stories? Well, they're not just stories. I believe the great fairy is real, and I'm on a journey to find her. There's a tower just beyond the Tabantha Great Bridge. They say that if you go to the top and look at the ground sometime in the afternoon, the tower's shadow will point to the great fairy's fountain. After hearing that legend, I decided to find out for myself, but now I'm stuck here at this stable because, well, no matter how hard I try, I just know I'll never be able to climb that tower. And to think, I even saved up all my rupees as an offering for the great fairy. But you, you look like you could climb that tower without breaking a sweat. Would you be willing to make an offering of rupees to the great fairy on my behalf? I'll do it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Here, take the 500 rupees I saved up. It's my life savings. So please don't go running off at it, okay? Alright, lovely. A gift for the great fairy. For this, we just need to climb the Tabantha Tower and give it to the great fairy. Fountain. Yeah, just the Great Fairy in the Great Fairy Fountain. Whatever. We'll do that in a moment. What do you have to say? Mm. Ooh, I don't have time to be drinking right now. Mm. You stay here at our stable? That's nice. But check this out. Go way out south of here. You'll find a flat hill called Washer's Bluff. Mm. On that hill, there's this mysterious looking platform thingy. Me and Gaggle tried all day to figure out what it does, but we're stumped. Okay, interesting. Uh, we can get a potion with a, a lizard and a lizard horn. Lovely. Uh, don't don't mind me. Hello. <laughs> My smart man, for inquisitive minds such as ours, just solving a mystery is more important than stable work. Whatever you say, Gaggle. Greggle? I can't remember your name. Oh well. Anyway, I think that actually is pretty much all we can talk to at the stables. Really, this is going to be a, a short little thing. There's not a whole ton to do here in the way of side quests. So, um, I'm just going to go grab a couple little things around here. And otherwise, let's go and make our way towards the Great Fairy Fountain. Hey, it's you! Did you give the Great Fairy an offering? Of course! <laughs> alright, thank you! Looks like asking you was a good call after all. So that means you met the Great Fairy, huh? Man, I'm so jealous. <laughs> but hey, at least you got to meet her. And that means, technically, I gotta make an offering to the Great Fairy. I can't thank you enough. For getting something? Huh? Um, no, I don't think so. Wait, what? You aren't trying to tell me you want a reward, are you? You got to see the, you got to see the great fairy thanks to my tip, didn't you? Now you're asking for more. Ah, great fairy, even if it's just in my dreams, won't you appear before me? Oh. Well, okay then. I didn't even need you actually given the rupees. I just took them. Oops. The great fairy, I bet she's kind and beautiful and just perfect. Okay then. Um great. I guess that's us done. Even quicker than I thought. Huh. Alright then, we're now 500 rupees richer, have a whole chunk of map learnt, and we technically saw the fairy, even though we we went nowhere near it. Okay, sure. I guess on that note, I will end it off here. For now, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care. I'm not going to be able to climb this thing, am I? Oh. Wow, that's quite the overhang you can do there, Link. Oh man, is this actually gonna work? N I, th I, you cannot climb on roofs in this game. This has got to. That has to. What? That does not seem realistic, but apparently you can. Man, this game is full of surprises, isn't it? Anyway, I'll see you in a bit.